Hello, one and all, and welcome to Let's Play the Henry Stickman Collection. I am the Max Few Trades. We got another Patreon-sponsored Let's Play right here for you right now. And, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know me, always on the cutting edge when it comes to the crazes and the most popular things on the YouTubes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so kind of past the point where the entire internet was kind of, you know, absolutely in love with this game. Uh, I never got around to playing it personally myself, but uh, hey, wouldn't you know it? There are at least a fair few people who are really interested in seeing me play it now, so hey, why the heck not? To the best of my knowledge, what I know of this game is thusly. It was a assortment of Flash games, I'm pretty sure they were just straight up on Newgrounds, and they were moderately popular there, and then they got all compiled together, and now we've got this, and there you go. Also, that it's basically not so much a game as it is so much a interactive movie. Sort of a choose-your-own-adventure book, essentially. It's more so that, so it's not really gonna be, you know, all that intensive when it comes to a gameplay experience, which is good for me because it means I have less expectations put on me and I'm able to just kind of go with the flow. Uh, this is more so the kind of game that people like watching people play because it has things to react to. And uh, apparently I am one of said people that people want to see react to it. So yeah, I, I guess that's what we're gonna do. All that I did beforehand was I uh, looked around this stuff. I noticed that there are like, okay. I know that there are fails. Not every option is going to lead to good things. So I assume everyone is going to want me to get all of the fails. So I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm gonna try and show everything that there is to show. This game isn't particularly long, so that should be well within my ability. I also noticed that there are apparently biography collections. Uh, this is the titular Henry Stickman. He's short on cash, so it's time to get some. Apparently, all I gotta do is right-click on a character when I see them. So, here's hoping that I can adequately remember to do that. Alright, so, uh, let's just jump into it. See how many references, because apparently there are a lot of them. How many of them I understand. And, uh, have ourselves a grand old time, why don't we? Let's, let's give it a go. We're gonna break that bank. That's what we're gonna do. You see that bank? We're gonna break it. See that stickman? He's gonna do the breaking. Good on him. Good on him. Alright. Oh, good lord, that is already a very large amount of options now, isn't it? Okay. Um, perhaps maybe not the most interesting, but let's go with the most sensible of options when it comes to this particular situation. We'll just go with the old shovel. Barely even started and there was a reference. Alright, this is the kind of thing we're dealing with today. Oh, well, ain't that unfortunate. Alright then, never dig straight down. To be fair, I wasn't exactly aware that that was what was going to happen. So, you know, to each their own, to each their own. Alright then, how about... Uh, I'm not exactly sure where we would get one of these, but sure, let's give it a go. Just casually get myself a wrecking ball. Oh, oh, ah, ah, found one. Uh, there's no construction schedule for today. Oh, <laughs> I guess that did make a whole lot of noise, didn't it? All right, fair enough. Somebody probably would have noticed. I guess it's not exactly what one might call the stealthy approach now, would it? Um, all right, well, this looks like it could be kind of stealthy. Let's give it a go. All right, then. Open sesame indeed. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like there might be only one actual answer to this. Alright, fine. How about we yuck some explosives? Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. Saw that one coming. I was unaware that we were going to use as much explosives as we ended up doing. Okay. Alright. How about a teleporter? At this point, I'm actually actively choosing the ones that I think won't work. Uh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> it's emergent technology. I'm sure it'll get better. So they say, so they say. All right. So originally I was trying to actually pick out the, the correct one, but uh, then I decided, 
what would actually possibly be the right option? And I, I, I theorized it was probably going to be this. There you go. Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. Noise! I wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Well, at least they're calling it out. Good on them. Good on them. All right, I am now one with the monies. So what exactly about that one was more of a success than the other one? I can't help but wonder. <laughs> uh, legitimate question. It seemed like that was also a failure in its own unique way. Let's check out the bios while we're here. Why not? All right, Chad Hansen, apparently. Fresh out of college. Guarding a bank sounds awesome. Unfortunately, this job happens to be in the middle of nowhere. Philly Colin. Philly's been working as a guard at this bank vault for five years now. He loves the badass look of the uniform, and he's got a mustache. Not as great a mustache as this dude, though. Winston Davids. He always rides shotgun in the bank truck. He prefers looking at the scenery rather than focusing on the road. Fair, fair. Ted McAdams. <laughs> they gave every single one of these random characters a name. The driver of the bank truck. He and Winston have been partners for many years. Ted has always been the driver. Well, ain't that something something. Ooh, well this looks significantly more extensive now, don't it? Alright, sure enough, sure enough. Okay then. Oh, that was merely a prologue, I see. Okay, okay. Now we escape the prison. I see how it is. Oh, are you? You're free to go. Is that true? <laughs> Not really. Oh, well now that's just rude. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful. Haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> that dude's gonna lose his job. Also, is that a... Is that a spit bucket or a... Something else? I don't see any other kind of toilet. Hmm. Anyway, okay. Uh, what am I going to find in these lands, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder. Um... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What the heck are we gonna go? Uh, you know what? Let's get the teleporter another go. Didn't work the first time. I'm, I'm sure it'll work this time. Ready? Fire. Oh. oh Alright, well, that didn't go well. You just can't seem to get the hang of that thing, can you? No, I, I didn't think it was gonna work, but, you know, the fact that it came back I thought was interesting. Alright, um, you know what? Go big or go home. Yeah, sure. This is, uh, sensible. tell ho Yeah, okay, sure. I'm pretty sure that's how rocket-propelled grenades work. Way to aim, buddy. Hey, it had nothing to do with my aim. That was a one in a bajillion. You can't tell me that that was my fault. All right, fine. How about we find a cell phone? What do we got in here? We're really doing this now, aren't we? Oh my god, we are. Please continue your testimony. All right then. Okay. Oh, I didn't click that guy. Alongside my partner and the armored man, but generally she spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! Oh dear lord! Get into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? Weird prosecutor. I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Do you? Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Oh, is that what I have to do? Okay, alright. Uh, do I have evidence of that? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, uh... I did? <laughs> that That is what happened. It's my all-important badge. It shows that I'm a defense attorney. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. Okay, I think I might know how to prove something now. Um, it kind of flies in the face of cartoon logic, but I believe I know what I'm supposed to do. A diagram of the bank and its surroundings. A device whose use is unknown. Security footage of the night of the intrusion shows the defendant's leaving his disguise and setting off the alarm. Doctor's examination of the defendant done after arrest. Defendant suffered many bruises and cuts. 
I see, I see. All right, well, assuming that presenting the bag is the correct option, uh, I believe this would count as a fail. Take that. <laughs> what is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try... This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... I mean, to be 100% fair, yeah, he, he, he did do it. <laughs> I feel as if I really shouldn't be making the, the an attempt to get him out of this, but I, I guess, you know, protagonist-centered mor uh, uh, morality and whatnot. Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? I yeah. think I know where this is going. Thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? Yeah, how did he do that exactly? The bag would be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying I won't lie, I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> he was stuffed in there by this very witness. It's always the witness. The doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Good question. Why? To dispose of the body, of course. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! <laughs> okay, sure. Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. Not much of a motive, though, is there? My verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Mm hmm. He very much is guilty, but alright, sure, sure. <laughs> oh. Oh! I missed a guy with a hat! Also, I guess I- I guess I did it. Good job, me. Good job. Uh, there was a very large assortment of things that I could have still done. Yeah, three different endings. Who boy, who boy. Alright, but I missed the guy with the hat, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Map? Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, so two of these things will allow me to continue, which means one of these things is not going to allow me to continue. Let's say... A drill? Let's see if this works. Oh! I am... Oh! I, I guess it did work. Alright then! Uh... An opacitor? Like, transparency? Uh, you'll walk through walls, just move the blue side to the right, and you'll become as opaque, that means see-through for all you uneducated folk as you want. Not only that, but the more opaque you get, the easier it will be for you to pass through solid objects. I see. Okay. This seems... dubious, at best. Yeah. Oh! Clicking! Clicking! Oh, hey! The skeleton was a guy! Cool. Oh, yeah, you'd think something like that would have come up in the beta testing. I, I noticed as soon as he dropped it that I'd, uh, yeah, hmm. All right, fair enough. All right, how about a crowbar, then? Crowbars are pretty good. Whoa! Oh, uh, grabbing those! Uh, oh, he's running! He's a running man! Oh, uh, oh, go this way, I guess. Oh. All right, fair enough. Don't worry, I hear prison dentists are great. Do prisons even have dentists? I'll be real with you, I don't know if that's actually the case. Anyway, go on! In retrospect, I probably should have let myself get, I guess, shot. That That's weird. Uh, uh, like this? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, there are so many dudes to click. Ah, it's not easy. Uh, okay. I believe I am in fact ready. 
Oh, oh. I was distracted by a very large assortment of needing to right click. <laughs> All right, hang on. Hang on. I just need to. I just need to do that. Okay. Ha! Ah, we're doing a matrix. Oh. I don't know if Neo ever did that. <laughs> is, is that how that works? Just intimidate them all. All right. Well, that was surprisingly fruitful. <laughs> all right. That worked out okay. Not bad, not bad. Yet another ending, it seems, though. All right. Uh, we'll go back to the map, to the map, to the map, map, map. And I'd like to, very quickly, if you don't mind, just kind of let these things play out. And there you go, shot to death. Try dodging the bullets, noob. Don't call me that. I will take a great offense to that fact. All right. Okay, so this time we do nothing. Yep, head first, right into the wall. Good, good, good. It's always a good idea to watch where you're going, especially if you're running away from the cops. Perhaps, perhaps. All right, but what if I were to perhaps go that way? Eh, what? Lol Brawl reference. Ah. Wow, this must have come out a long time ago originally. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is, that is some, that is some old reference. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, just one momento, if any you don't mind. I do believe if I were to once more do this, do a neat little flipperoo, then I should, in theory, oh, 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 ah, missed! Damn it! All right, then fine, 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 fine. It's not exactly the easiest thing to be able to click on every single character that pops up. There are a lot of them, and there's a lot of reactionary stuff going on around here, too. I'm not sure how practical it is to actually try to do that. Alright, well, maybe I can work on that on my own time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that the file is probably a very safe bet on being able to get me out of here. Well, how exactly is an energy drink supposed to help? <laughs> Oh, well, I've never known an energy drink to do that. Hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> casual revenge, casual revenge. Oh, maybe that was the guy I was supposed to actually get that one time. That was too slow. I was too slow for That'd be convenient. Okay, well that seems to have worked. Oh. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. NRG side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibilities of stroke and or heart attack. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, I definitely would say so. All right, file time. Uh, guess we'll go for the window. Although, if I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, look before you leap. Okay. To be fair, I kind of figured that was the case. And I am looking for failures, so. I'll just go ahead and open up this here doodad. A file would most assuredly take a lot longer than that. Wow, nice kick. You've got the reflexes of a statue. Hence, you can defend yourself by tapping the alert. Oh, uh, thank you. Is that something that I could do? Eh. All right, hang on. I'm trying to get all of them. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. There's another guard coming. That's what I get for trying to get rid of all the failures. Come on, now. Mazenga! Ew. I think he tased himself. That's unfortunate. Hey, he's escaping. No, I'm not. You can't prove anything. Oh, ah, uh, this can only end well. Yeah, sure. Let's go with this. Yo, check yourself. Yeah, okay, good job, my guy. What the? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that one. Fair enough. All right, then. A chair. 
There you go. We'll do the sneaky styles. Ah, that's a little bit better. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Indeed he doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Hey, got him! Fat! Hey! I'm just as felt as any stick figure man could ever possibly be. I take umbrage to that. Also, totally love how there was any inclination as to which direction would have been more advantageous. Okay. For a moment there, I, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay. Uh, this looks like an invitation for right proper cartoon shenanigans. Like, I'm, I'm expecting a bunch of, like, dishware to fly out of that thing. Yep, close enough. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Ow. I think that was just a regular backpack. See what happens when you assume? I mean, it's labeled as a parachute. Alright, jetpacks have never led anyone astray. Oh. oh, I ain't going back to read all that. Now look, you're back. Indeed he is. It takes many hours of jetpack training before you're able to operate one. You know, realistically, that would make a lot of sense. I'm not 100% sure how a jetpack would even realistically work. There's, there's, there's probably a pretty good reason why we don't have one. Anyway, let's try a rope. Okay, there were definitely ways that you could have made that work. Oh, okay, well, he's alive. Or not. Okay, fair enough. Well, this seems awfully familiar. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, then I guess it was the plungers. You could have just climbed down slower with the rope. Or gotten literally any object he possibly could in order to uh, not have to use his own damn hands. But there you go, I guess. Alright, not bad, not bad. Managed to get myself out of the prison. And that's pretty much everything. Alright, how many bios did I get in total? Ooh, that's a lot. Alright, I missed a grand total of guy with hat and guy walking down the road. Oh my goodness, okay. But I would have to go through the entire Phoenix Wright segment again. Uh. Anyway, arrested for the attempted burglary of the bank. He now sets in Red Mesa Penitentiary. Yes, I am going to read all of these. Rupert Prince, he's been on the force for nearly eight years. He joined the police academy right out of high school. Dave Panpa, he's new to the force and eager to do a good job. He will not, though. Harold Ronson, he works up as the prisoner's janitor, but he also enjoys doing their maintenance work. Also, not a fan of donuts, as it turns out. Blade Knife Man McGee, serving multiple life sentences for multiple counts of murder. He gave himself the nickname Knife Man. Kev Portley, he only became a cop because he knows cops eat donuts and he loves donuts. You won't catch him doing much police work. Stunt Blump, Stump Blump, okay. He was beat up as a lot for a child because of his name for obvious reasons. Fair. Ryan Goldman, Red Mesa Penitentiary's, Penitentiary's Employee of the Month for the uh, month of June. Good for him. Carlos Burntedent, he works at a desk job at the prison. He prefers it over going into the dangerous field. Straight Shooter. Legally changed his name to Straight Shooter. He spits hot fire and raps mad lyrics. Respect. Jen Brun. One of the administrators of the prison. She keeps it running in decent condition. John Farm. A rookie to the team. This is the first meeting he's ever attended. Like, actually giving everyone these tiny, itty-bitty little insignificant bios. That's really kind of fun. Uh, John Gritz. Just got back from breaking up a fight between two inmates. It didn't go so well. John Shashasween. I don't even know. He joined the police force for the action. But they stuck him behind a desk. John Barley failed out of firearms training three times. He technically not allowed to use his weapon outside of the shooting range. Captain Jeffrey Custard. 30 years ago, a janitor threw out his lunch. He held a grudge against janitors ever since. I guess that's why janitors do not count. Jonas Nugan. He's been quickly moving up the ranks. Just needs to pass that marksman exam. Captain Ronald Canterbury. The man in charge of all, of all officer training at Red Mesa. Known to be very strict. And to the mustache. Anyway, unknown Hendrix, always sleeping on the job. Nobody knows his first name. Pete Sound, notorious for taking food. This isn't from the, that isn't from the employee fridge. Interesting. Anyway, Stacy Q. She often gets confused for someone else, which is strange because she doesn't even have red hair. 
Sound like you. Okay, I feel like there's a joke there I'm missing. Gray Gray. Gary Gray. Ah, consistently put on evidence duty. His least favorite job. Ungus Bungus. Met a harsh fate many, many, many years ago. Felix White. I see. The city's most prominent defense attorney. He works hard to ensure innocent people are not put away. Hubert Brown. One of the city judges. It's very difficult to tell him apart from other judges in the city. Vladimir von Braun, nemesis to Mr. White. He's pretty cocky in his ability to put criminals away. This often becomes his downfall. Winston Davis. He's been deposed due to his involvement in the bake Frank's Bacon. Either way, he won't be going back to his old job anytime soon. Chuck Samids. He works at Sandwich City and enjoys his free sandwich for lunch every day. Juno Grumpet. He's received jury duties 27 times this year. This could make even the most cheery man cynical. <laughs> Unfortunate. Bert Slim. He's been on the force for six years now, and yet there are still days that surprise him. Tom Hardley. He takes the job very seriously. Never seems to take those sunglasses off. Even indoors or at night. He's a bit of a fool that way, let's be real. The chief of police here at Red Mesa. He runs a tight ship and expects the best from all his cadets. Fairly new to the force. Does not handle pressure well. Joined the force at the same time as his best friend. He's a clean-shaven one. Oh, good for him. Sean she Sean Sean, basically. This is his first day back from a nice vacation. You ruined it. Matthew Flexer. He joined the force at the same time as his best friend. He has a goatee. It's true. He does. All right. Uh, it's gonna definitely kind of kill me that I don't have those last two bios. But at the exact same time, I get the feeling that they're gonna be far from the only ones I've missed. I know how to get them. Episode two. We're gonna steal the diamond. We got the diamond to steal. As oh. the mayor, I hereby declare the Tunisian archaeological exhibit open. Good for him. Good for him. Ooh. 112 million. That's a lot. Alrighty. We managed to escape from prison, and here we are doing this. I can't right click those guards. It's not my fault. Uh. Bust in. That seems advisable. This seems like a terrible plan if I'm being entirely- Oh. Okay, it's a scooter. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, got him. Ah, beep, beep. Okay, well, we're gonna do nothing is what we're gonna do. Yeah, all right. Man, you're off to a great start. I'm deliberately failing. You shut your business. Ram him. Hello. Hi. Whoa. Uh, we got a breach headed towards the medieval section. Uh, roger that. We're preparing to engage over. Okay. All right. Uh, whoa, up, up. All right. Good thing the janitors just got done buffing the floors. Could you imagine all the germs you'd be rolling in right now if they hadn't? I was much more interested in uh, doing that. All right. I don't think people on the paintings are going to count. Okay. Uh, also, I think I just saw that one. Whatchamacallit, it? That guy. You know the guy. Whoa. Whoa. The, the the king from the CDI games. Uh, and put it in a basket. Eh. Oh. Ah, torque. I bet you wish you paid more attention in physics class now, huh? Nope. Most assuredly do not. Nothing will ever make me want to do that. All right. Tow cable. Woo, let's go. After that, they just stopped and arrested him. Whoa, really? Yeah, that's when I decided I should probably get a different job. I figured night garden is much less dangerous than driving it. Crap. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, we got two star. Whoop! I choose nothing. Ooh, got run over too. I can see all those hours of playing video games have really sharpened your reflexes. Oh wait, I am deliberately failing. Get off my business, why don't you? Anyway, branch apparently. Yeah. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna work. Man, good job. <laughs> Didn't really think that one through, did you? I was just clicking buttons. Get off me. All right, fine. I need a rock, apparently. Rock! Okay, well, now that's a, that's a significantly worse crime you done just went and committed. Whoa. All right, they have got a sniper. Ah. Nice Team Fortress reference. I see what you did there. Mm. All right. A uh, sticker grenade! It's a little... Yeah, alright, too sticky. I somehow knew that was gonna happen before it even happened. I always wondered how those things work. Yeah, it's never actually made a lot of sense. Alright then. Good, good, good. Bubble! 
Obviously not the Sonic Bubble. Uh, that would not have taken three sniper rounds, I'll tell you that much. Alright. Whoop, now what? Sir, place your hands where I can see them. If you do not comply, I will be forced to fire upon you. You leave me no choice, sir. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Well Dude, do something! I'm looking for fails! Okay, um, bribe. That won't work. Bribery is a federal offense, sir. A lot of things I'm doing are federal offenses. Strange, that usually works. Alright. Um, yep, this also looks like it'll fail. Yo, what exploded? I don't think you're gonna get it very far that way. Alright, then... Diamonds? Well. Okay. Oh, I'm a scooter. Well, I suppose now I can buy many scooters. I got that going for me. Alright, so how many did I get through on that one? Let's find out with the help of our map. Uh, so time sensitive, so time sensitive. Okay. So, wow, honestly, not that many I gotta do. Alright, uh, jump! Okay. Jumping off a speeding vehicle may not be the best idea. Well, yeah, if you don't tuck and roll. You gotta, you gotta tuck and roll. Kick! How is that any different than ramming? Honest question. Okay, so we learned that the shield was good. The lance must not be the... Whoa! Indeed. Jousting! It's harder than it looks. It's true. You need wicked forearm strength for that to work out. Flail! I mean, I wish that worked. Flails are awesome. Stop hanging around to do something. Nah, <laughs> get it? Okay, I'll stop. Something tells me that you will not. Oh, I didn't even wait. I didn't wait at the clock. Put your hands up, boy. Don't do the muscle. There we go. Oh, but that was only... Right, right, right. That was only one way through. No, no. Now, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I gotta try to be all sneaky now. I gotta be a sneaky guy. All right. Oh, well, obviously. Ow. Oh, did that work? It worked. Okay, the teleporter actually worked out this time. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bit of a guess here and say that he probably won't be able to do this. Falcon Pong. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Only one man is capable of that punch. Well, technically two if you count Ganondorf. Let's be real, it's essentially the same thing. Um, I'm deliberately choosing things that I think will fail. An invisibility pill sounds like the type of thing where you'd lose track of yourself. So, let's see if that's how that goes. What happened? I lost track of you. Okay, or whatever. Either way, I was right. Uh, Penny? No, oh, okay, it worked. Nice. Yeah, obviously we're gonna. Bur yeah, let's just plop. Yeah, that was gonna work. <laughs> Freaking dumbass. Did you really think that was gonna work? No, I really didn't. And a wormhole rifle. Sure. Yeah, definitely not a portal gun. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love all these copyright free variants. I'm surprised you weren't able to get down there with that amazing portal technology. It's pretty strange how those portal guns work, and it combines the top scientific processes of our time. The portal gun contains a flux quantum generator, which propels energy blasts with energy values of 4.23 gigawatts. I see what you did there. With an average speed approximately of 25, I don't know, maybe meters a second, this speed is the most optimal because it allows the energy to be conserved while still maintaining a speed that is appropriate. The external pla uh, plastic casing on the portal gun is constructed of a high polymer fireproof ca ca carbon fiber. This prevents the intense energy of the portal gun from burning the hands of the user. The intense energy causes intense heat. Oh, by the way, if you want an achievement, click here. I've heard that scientists still do not know what happens if two portals are placed on top of one another. That last time that was attempted, well, I'm sure you heard that on the news. Alright then, wire time! Whee! Alright. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, no. Laser cutter first. Yeah! Alright. You get cut. Why you no bleed? The laser cauterized it. 
I mean, I could have told you that. I didn't need a. I didn't need a. I didn't need any help on that one. There we go. And now we must be sneaky. Hey, it's the SpongeBob pirate. That's neat. Uh, cannon. Okay, so best case scenario, what exactly were you planning? Like, even if you didn't fall out of that thing, I'm pretty sure the results would have ended up being exactly the same. Anyway, jeez. Alright then. Uh, plank. And after that, they just up and arrested him. Whoa. Landed in, like, yeah. sawdust or something. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna... Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to jump! I just really wanted the situation to be able to say that. I'm surprised you made it that far with that heavy diamond. I mean, yeah, realistically, I don't think that would have worked. Alright, uh... Let's go with... Snap neck. Alright then. Oh, charming. Okay, rifle time! I guess I'll just yoink it. Wow, how'd you miss from that range? Those first-person shooters make it look so easy. Alright then, um... What do I just... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess that would work. Oh god, that man is dead. That man is about as dead as you're ever gonna get. Ow! Unnecessarily brutal! Well, all right then. Wow, there are still a lot of fails that I have not gotten. Interesting. Uh, wait, am I to take it? That means there's a another one? Oh, well, there's a bunch of those. Okay, well, let's see. Let's start with this. So I can use Tranquilizer. <laughs> well, what are the odds of that? Damn near impossible. That's what those odds are. Right, I completely forgot that I I literally got, like, all of these. Okay, uh, yeah, jumble hoppers. Moon shoes. <laughs> huh, I don't get that reference. Uh, let's see, anti-gravity cap, sure. Nothing is gonna stop us from just, you know, flying up forever, yeah. You're lucky! I always wanted to go to space. It's basically the inverse of the opacitor. Uh, okay. Liquidificator. Turn yourself into a liquid and bend your molecules around or through any object. I don't know. I don't really feel too confident about Gadget Gabe. That guy doesn't really seem to know what he's talking about. Like, aren't I just gonna, like, Alex Mack this? But with a little less... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of figured. Kind of figured. All right, shrink ray time! Oh, we are gonna get eaten. Huh. Man, worms are so much more vicious up close. I'm gonna be honest, I thought we were gonna get attacked by either a bird or a mouse. I wasn't expecting a worm. Fair play. Pick time! Okay. Apparently, there was something in that cake, and uh, he used it to escape, and then I got fired. Pretty lame, huh? Yeah, I don't really like this uh, one. Please, shut up. Oh, no, I, I just you don't gotta be mean. Oh, yeah, no, okay. Oh, well, hang on, no, I gotta wait out the clock first. Man, that man is absolutely stammering through. How did neither of them hear the giant explosion, by the way? I can't help but wonder. They give you all the time in the universe for this one. Hey! There we go. This conversation can't be that interesting. It wasn't. I'm gonna throw a bomb! Alright then. Why would they keep live bombs in a museum? I don't know. Why would they keep anything in a museum? Get off me. Playtime! time! I gotta warn some. Alright. Well, that worked better than I thought it would. Interesting. I guess I'm gonna go into the retro room. 
Not sure if I was able to fail that. Oh, hey, a Jiggy. I saw that. Nice. Ah, dang it. I missed a dude. I see. Okay, well, this could never in a million years end well. Yeah, sure. Just free of this legally distinct Metroid. It's, yeah, it's not like they're known for eating faces or anything. Looks like they don't take kindly to orders. Or most things, if I'm being honest. Alright. A good ball, huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for the second chance on that guy, though. Oh, now why would you even do that? Alright then, fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say... Crowbar? I'm pretty sure this is, this is Half-Life, yeah? The answer was yes, if you were wondering. Man, I hate it when that happens. I never played it, I just know of it. Okay, then I guess that means the mushroom is the way to go. Fair enough. Okay, well, to be fair, that would have been the Mega Mushroom, not the normal one, but yeah, alright. I mean, if you want to argue, Samantha... Oh, I was hoping the bird had... I, I was hoping that thing, uh... Whoa! Hey! I was hoping the dinosaur would have a bio. Ow! Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I've certainly caused a lot of chaos. Feel pretty good about that. Sir, you might want to come look at this. I'm getting chaos readings at 10.6. Oh, I got all the bios. Nice. My god. It's over nine. Yeah. I'm leaving this decision up to you, Corporal. How Just old are these games? To deal with this pressing situation. Who's watching TV? Get back to work. Sorry, Chief. I'm going back to work next time. All right. Oh. Huh. Yeah, let's drop a nuke. Yeah, I felt pretty good about that one. That 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 that, that definitely fit the situation. Good job. Good job. Don't feel too bad. You probably camped for the 25 kills you needed to get that nuke. I don't get that reference. Is that divide by zero? That seems stupid. Alright, probably one of those world ender moments. Haha, <laughs> funny. Oh. You didn't even hit the divide button, you just hit equal. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. What I meant. Oh, whoa, where is everyone? <laughs> uh. Satellite? I'm not really sure what the giant gear is. Oh, really? Really busting out the ancient memes with this one, aren't you? Yeah, I bet you couldn't. Alright then. Big gear thing. Not really sure what this is. Whoa! Oh, it's a robot. Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. This looks like it's just gonna cause more problems than it's going to fix. I don't think we actually got the diamond on that one, though. Less than it, less than advisable. I mean, I guess you didn't die, so you got that going for you, which is nice. Bit a bit more of a bittersweet type situation on that one, though. Oh. Well, that's just unlikely. <laughs> that's just unlikely, is what that is. All right, well, hey, as long as you get results, I suppose. And I've missed two. I've missed two. Okay, right. Gone! Yeah. Yeah, definitely wasn't going to have that. Quick, pretend you were joking. Good one, right, guys? Yeah, that makes sense. And I guess the wrong answer was to go this way. Huh, must be a light sleeper. And like that, we've got all the bios. Nice, nice. Let's just run down through these a little fast. 
Henry Stickman, life has been roughed after breaking out of prison. Time to make some quick cash by stealing the Tunisian diamond. Mayor Fredrickson, the underdog winner of last year's election, is popular among the citizens because of his love for the arts. Jeff Stickley, he enjoys the rooftop post. It gives him a chance to admire the stars. He considers himself an amateur astronomer. Good for him. Ted McAdams, he quit working as an armored truck driver after a certain incident. Can't imagine why. Jacob Rose, the museum's newest hire. He's still in training, so he's not allowed to work unsupervised quite yet. Cliff Nooks. He picked up smoking so he could take more breaks. Well, that's just impractical. Conrad Connors. He got the job as a security guard because his friend hooked him up. They tend to work their shifts together. Billy Barnes. Usually manages to work the same shift as his friend. Zach Knut. Takes the job seriously. Some of his co-workers get annoyed with his constant use of the walkie-talkie. Hem oh, Hem Hembert I don't even know. Works for the museum on a foreign exchange program. Nobody knows exactly which country he's from. Billy Clud. Always looking for excuses to use his nightstick. His, his lo he loves to show off his skills to his co-workers. Sam Turner. The, they love the guarding aspect of security guard work. Actually dealing with burglars, and eh, not so much. Richard Wilkins. Oh god, Wilkins Coffee. He's a hard-working fellow who always tries to do his best. He loves chocolate. Oh, good for him. Todd Sl Slimmons. It's hard to work odd hours in a museum. Your sleep hours get all messed up. He's doing his best. Rupert Price, his workplace suffered a huge embarrassment. He's determined to work extra hard hours. Now, okay, well, good for him. Johnny Pazner, he's risen quickly through the ranks, and it's no surprise. His skills are well above average. I threw a rock at his head. Jack Sheen, the only helicopter pilot on the force who can fly to the city and back in under two hours. Samuel Mundy, hey, that's very close to the actual sniper's name. Good. He's not a crazed assassin, but he does work for the police department either. Looks like he was hired for a job. James Lancelot frequently eats at those medieval restaurants. Claims his family used to be nobles way back when. Dave Panpa. He was fired from his previous job for negligence. He bounced back quickly, though, and found a new job as, as a security guard. Good, good, good. Kurt Dietrich? This guy hates going to work. Not to mention they paired him with some annoying newbie. Ugh. Joseph Joe. He may not look it, but he's a scrappy guy. He's not itching for a fight, but he won't back down if challenged. Timothy Lewis. Goes by Tim. His work shift usually involves running a nightly patrol. Alexander Garb, eaten by a giant-ass dinosaur. He's scared of heights and birds. Oh, no! <laughs> Tony Franz, he's secretly in the Mafia. He got placed here so that he could launder money. Wow. <laughs> okay. Clyde Jenkins, a standard-level employee at the Center for Chaos Containment. CCC protocol requires you to run action by a superior officer. Corporal Bill Bullet. B Bullet Bill. <laughs> the person in charge of the Center for Chaos Containment, Central Branch. He's pretty lax and trusts his agents to do their jobs well. All right, then. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I would like to actually straight up, like, move on with myself if it's all the same with y'all.